of my trip to the UK by having breakfast at the buffet on the first floor of the hotel. It wasn't a very big buffet, it is definitely not an international buffet, it just had British foods but I was pretty content with all the selection there was. And there is an orange juicer, well basically you can juice oranges to make your own orange juice and I did try that, it was really fun. And we took the underground from Russell Square Station and it's actually really nice from the exterior. There's, and there we have arrived at the train station. I was amazed by this. This train station at Paddington, it is huge. I've never seen anything like it before, so I really was amazed. And this was the Paddington station. We were taking the train to visit the University of Oxford. So after marveling at the size of the train station, we went to the ticket office to buy our tickets. But it turned out that there was 20 minutes until our train left so we went to the mall adjoining the train station to do a little bit of shopping. We entered the Paddington Bear shop. I did kind of want to buy a Paddington Bear but it was a little too expensive. And there's my train ticket to Oxford. It's really exciting just putting the train ticket into the reader. And picking it out. And our train was leaving from platform 3. There's a close up of the sign there. And I did try to take a very long video of the train to show you just how big the train was, but it turned out really shaky because we were all rushing because it turns out that the train doesn't stay at the station for very long so I just cut out that part to spare you the pain of looking at it. Eventually we did enter one of the train cars and the train leaving the station. It is actually really spacious and roomy, so I'm very pleased with it. This is one of the stations that we stopped at. And here's a view of the vast expanse of green grass that we saw. I am not used to it. And finally, we alighted at Oxford. And this is a much better view of the train. We had to cross an overhead bridge and you could see the train tracks and the train that was arriving. And here is the ticket again. Couldn't get it back this time. And here is a map of Oxford. We decided to buy tickets for the hop on top of bus because we didn't know where to even begin from the train station. So we waited for some time for the bus driver to open the doors for, to let us in the bus but we did go in eventually and we decided to sit on the second floor to get a better view. There's what the top floor of the bus looks like and I decided to sit right at the front. And when the bus started moving, I just filmed some random clips of the buildings in Oxford. Really, once you're there for a little bit of time, all the buildings in Oxford start to look the same. 
brown, ancient, a little bit run down. Eventually, we alighted at Christchurch College. Yes, the building was massive, and I'll speed up the next part again because it is kind of boring. But we just walked along the streets, trying to absorb the atmosphere of being in Oxford, you know. And then we entered the college. I'm so sorry, I can't remember what college this is called, but we walked along it. Again, this part is sped up. And we took lots of pictures with the buildings there. They are quite pretty, really. And then this is an Alice's shop where Alice in Wonderland was filmed and as I walked in, I didn't realise that the shop owner was staring right at me while I blatantly filmed part of the shop. I only saw later that videography was not allowed so that was awkward. But then we went to see the Radcliffe camera which is basically the main highlight of coming to Oxford. It really is beautiful and... This part isn't that great because there's lots of backlight, but it is really beautiful. After spending lots of time at the Radcliffe camera taking pictures, we went to one of the shops there where we got souvenirs. And I was trying to walk around the Radcliffe camera and film it at the same time, which made the video very shaky. And I did film this part up as well. And here is the Bridge of Size. And then it started raining, so we had to get out our umbrellas. And very unfortunately, Trinity College was closed to visitors, which we did not expect. And since it was raining really heavily, and we decided to have a stop to have lunch first while the rain died down. And by this time, we had taken a bus to Lady Margaret Hall, because that is the college that I wanted to see. I got risotto, and my mom got pasta. And... The students and the porter at Lady Margaret Hall were so nice, they just let us in, um, which is really nice, but makes me concerned for security, you know. Lady Margaret Hall is really big, and it's really nice too. I quite like the vibe of it, and the buildings look really nice. And this is the LMH library. While the buildings are really pretty, I didn't actually see any students there. I'm not really sure why, since it was a Monday. Then I happened to glance at this in the Porter's Lodge. I am not a stalker, I really just happened to chance upon it. And then after visiting LMH, we took the bus back to the city centre and since we didn't have anywhere we wanted to go, we just went to Westgate to do some shopping. First we went to Smiggle where I didn't buy anything. Then I was so so happy to spot a pink where I only bought 3 bath bombs. And then I spotted this holographic bag. And then, I went to Superdrug, which might be my new favourite place to buy makeup because there is so much and so affordable makeup there. And 
there happened to be a Primark and Westgate as well so I did quite a bit of damage there. And that's my mom handing over her card to pay for all my purchases. And we finally decided to take the train back to our hotel. Our train did get delayed by quite a bit. And this is the really new nice looking train that we did not take. That was the train before ours but here's the view from the train that we actually took. to just have dinner at the bar on the ground floor of our hotel and this is what we got after we finished dinner we just went upstairs where I filled up the bathtub and I put in a bath form that I've had for quite some time now which is why it didn't fizz very much but that is all we did on the second day of our trip to the UK I really enjoyed the day and if you enjoyed this video Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and my other channel as well. And remember to follow all my social media which will be linked in the description box. Bye!